Shannon Bream is the new host of Fox News Sunday. I've had in this front row seat to history over the last 15 years. The policies that are set here in the nation's capital affect everybody living in this country. Now, a proud Sunday morning tradition continues. I think for a lot of people, it sets the tone for the week. I'm excited to have these longer form conversations where you really dig into what matters and to really call people to task. Don't miss Shannon Bream as she hosts Fox News Sunday. It's the dawn of a new day on Fox News Sunday. Yeah, this week, Shannon Bream takes the helm of the hit show. First, though, she is live with us this morning. Good morning. It is such a treat to be with you guys. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no, 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 no. Listen, <laughs> the, 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 the treat is all ours. But I have to say, what's it feel like when you hear that open? I still am pinching myself, sort of, okay, um, you know, I started out in this market years ago, uh, across town at another station, and it's such a joy, you guys know, to cover D.C., whether it's local, regional, national, so much of what's happening in the world happens here, so I'm still kind of pinching myself that I get to do it from that perch. It's one thing to be the new host of a show. It's another thing, Shannon, though, to be the first ever mm -hmm. in terms of the first woman mm -hmm. to host this show in the 26 years history of Fox mm -hmm. News Sunday. Um, does that come with a lot of pressure? I don't know. I think anytime you step into a show that has this long tradition, you know, we had Tony Snow and Chris Wallace, I mean, excellent journalists. You're always thinking, okay, I've got to live up to that standard. I got the nicest email from Chris the day this was announced saying, you know, we've really tried to keep this new standard high. I'm so excited you're taking the reins oh. and I have full confidence in you. So that was a really nice um, vote of confidence there. But I think about women in the business who kind of laid the way for us, the Diane Sawyers and the Jessica Savages and Barbara Walters and those kinds of folks who, to me, this feels like a natural opportunity because of the work they did. For us, there's an open door. You stand on their shoulders. Yeah. I was reading an article, too, that you said in your first television job, you were told that you were the worst right. uh, that the man had <laughs> ever seen on television. Yeah. Can you take us back to that experience and what it meant to you, how you internalized it, or mm -hmm. did you? Yeah, I cried a lot. <laughs> it was super embarrassing. Um, I, I thought, okay, now this is, it's time to take stock. Yeah. Where is the criticism relevant here? Because I think, you know, I, I was in it so early in the business, I had a ton to learn. But he did say to me, you'll never make it in this business. And I thought, okay, I got a lot of work to do. I can acknowledge that. Let's get the work going, but let's prove them wrong. Mm. Not in a spiteful way, but just to say, you're going to get serious about applying yourself and figuring out how to get better at all these things so that you can succeed in this business. So I actually feel thankful to him for that. He sort of kicked me out of the nest, and, and it made me take an assessment. And look at you now, yeah. right? <laughs> but here's the thing, and this is what I, I want you to address the haters and the doubters out there, because um, it, clearly, obviously, you're beautiful, right? You look at your resume, your former Miss America contestant, um, you know, and some people will say, oh, you know, she's mm -hmm. the typical pretty blonde mm -hmm. fox person that they mm -hmm. always hire. And that's not the case. It, my dad used to say it takes 10 years to be an overnight success. <laughs> I mean, you know what, but you've been in it and you've been on the front lines for some time. And this is not a given position. Mm -hmm. This has been earned. And young women need to know that. Yeah. And I've, I've had the opportunity at Fox for 17 years. I mean, 15 years, excuse me, I've, 17 years I've been in D.C. 15 years, though, to travel around the world covering um, really difficult, interesting stories. It's been a privilege, but covering the court for all those years, the mm -hmm. Supreme Court, and years before that, I was an attorney. So um, I lean a lot on my educational background and my my uh, years as an attorney, the research, um, and all of those things, I think, feed into the job you do as a journalist. There are always going to be people who don't like us. You know, on Twitter, you're going to have, I feel like you guys probably the same way. Like 95% of people are like, you guys are the best. You're beautiful. Mm -hmm. You're funny. You're smart. And then you have 5% who say, like, how did you get this job? You're oh, terrible. Yeah, the, the Twitter yeah. troll. It's right. the 5% that yells <laughs> so, the loudest, though, yes, right? Sometimes, right? right? So you can keep it all in perspective, you know? Yeah. And sometimes there's a mute button. Yeah. <laughs> I, was yeah. I was surprised the other day to find out how many people I'd muted. Like, it gives you a run, and I was like, whoa, I guess I really use that. But it's, it's but good. Serves Is there one for block? Because yeah. I just block them. Yes, the blocking okay. too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the blocking too. Yeah, we talk about the professional hurdles that you've overcome. Uh, talk about the health-related mm -hmm. ones, because I find that one very uh, intriguing about your story. Yeah, I went through something years ago where I was dealing with chronic pain. Um, I was having searing eye pain, often ending up with double vision and just trying to fake it because I couldn't get a diagnosis. So, you're, you know, you're trying to read a prompter, you're mm -hmm. trying to get through the day. And I was living in constant pain and just a couple of years of this, seeing doctors all over this region here. And it had really gotten to a very despondent, dark place where if you've lived with emotional or physical pain or somebody that you love, you know, it just wears on you. So for years of that, I finally found a doctor who diagnosed me. It was the greatest answer to prayer. Um, and as I was leaving the office that day, he said to me, but you should know there's no cure for this. Mm. And that was a real punch to the gut. But he's helped me manage it. 
uh, he's been amazing and God has been faithful. My faith is um, what really drags me through the really tough times um, to get me there. So it's made me more empathetic too. I think when you look around at people, you have no idea what they're suffering with at any time. And when you've walked that path, I think it, it gives you a lot of grace for other people. All right, Shannon, is it, is it okay if we get to know you personally a little bit? Let's do it. All right, so we're gonna do a little this or that. Uh -oh. All you have to do is tell us yeah. okay. this or that, okay. okay? So here we go, first up, pasta or pizza? Ooh, um, could you put the pasta on the pizza? <laughs> oh, that's okay. my girl. Oh too. my gosh, she's already my <laughs> pizza. favorite. Pizza, okay. pizza, 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 okay. okay. Uh, Beyonce? Or Brittany? Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's a ooh. very tough one. Um, I, I'm going to say Beyonce. She is beautiful, successful, got it all together, like on so many different levels with clothing lines and all these different things. Brittany, I love and cherish her, but I say a little prayer for her. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm very not. smart. Like and happiness. And, and the happiness. hives can be fierce. Right. So I think it's good no. to, cheer, <laughs> to choose Beyonce they are too. both queens. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> sun or snow? Oh, sun. Yeah, very, okay. very easy, easy. You don't need to spend a lot of time mm -hmm. on that. Cats or dogs? I'm a dog person. Biscuit Bream uh, runs the house <laughs> at our house. And um, so we're dog people. We're dog people. All right. Um, <clears throat> uh -oh. Fox 5 DC or Ooh. the Peacock? I'm going Fox 5. <laughs> Because, um, I listen, you are my local compadres. Um, I've worked yes. in this market, and you know, so we have that history. We have yeah. history. Yes. Uh, real quickly, our last thing before we go uh, Fox News Sunday is all about getting the newsmakers on the show. Yes. Two people you want to sit it at, seated at your table in the first month you're there. You know what? I would love to get the Attorney General, uh, Merrick mm. Garland. I think there's so much going on in the legal world and, you know, the rule of law in this country. I think a lot of good questions for him. Hmm, who else would I say? You know what? I would love to get Justice Ketanji Brown Jackson. She's brand new on the mm. bench, hasn't mm. done an interview. And so I've written both of them handwritten notes, and hopefully we can get those conversations going. Okay, yeah. did you hear that, young journalist? Mm. She wrote handwritten, handwritten notes. I love the handwritten notes. I do too. <laughs> it's old school. Uh, like it's it. old. I'm yeah. all about the handwritten yeah. note. Mm -hmm. All right. We Thanks wish so you the best. Thank we know so it will be nothing but success. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good to see you guys. Thanks Congratulations. for coming. Thanks. All right. And just a reminder, Fox 5 DC is the place to be on Sunday. You've got Fox 5 Morning News at 7 o'clock, Fox 5 Commander's Game Time, 7.30, and then Fox 5 Morning News Sunday at 8. Fox 5 News on the Hill with Tom Fitzgerald at 8.30. <laughs> you don't need to go anywhere on Sunday, but just have your TV on Fox 5. And then Fox News at Sunday with its new host, Shannon Bream, at 9. All right, 1022. Tucker's going to have a check on the forecast coming up next.